Okay, so I thought since my actual talk is quite long that I would give a little teaser video to try and help you determine whether or not you really had the energy to sit through the whole thing. So this is my teaser video for plagiarism. So typically, I'm, I'm imagining that most of the talks that you might have uh, attended on the subject of plagiarism are more empirically or practically focused. That is, they're asking some variety of this question right here. The worry is about the iceberg of plagiarism and whether or not the tiny bit sticking up top here can be uh, enlarged through technological use or sufficiently crafty tactics in your classroom, whether uh, this large bit here is so large that it threatens the integrity of the entire academic enterprise, uh, or can be reduced uh, through technological use or crafty course design or pedagogy or things like that. And my talk is not directly about these things, but I would argue impacts these things much more because I've tried to ask some slightly different questions in my talk and entertain some answers. Questions like this. What does the plagiarism that we don't catch look like if we can analogize plagiarism to the iceberg and, and worry that all we are seeing is the tip that protrudes above the water and the big problem is what's below the waterline uh, then it can become quite significant to, to wonder what is the nature of the ice below the water is it of the same variety does that provide us with good explanations about why it's currently underwater and undetected if it's of the exact same material and manner as the plagiarism that we do successfully catch is the shape of the iceberg and the proportions above and below the water just a measure of the limitations of time and effort we're prepared to spend on policing plagiarism or is there something fundamentally different about plagiarism that we don't catch? And can we learn something important from that that might not just affect our attitudes and our conduct towards plagiarism and our efforts in policing it, but perhaps has wider impact on our pedagogy and on our thinking about the educational enterprise as a whole? And so this is the big, this is the spoiler. I should have given you the warning before now. But the central argument, the central claim that I'm going to be trying to defend and, uh, and make sound plausible is that plagiarism is of a totally different character than what we ordinarily think of it as. And that uh, the only thing that makes plagiarism bad is that it undermines our assessment and that the other things that we typically and popularly talk about as the bads of plagiarism are off target, that they are not nearly as relevant as people make them sound. So if you want to understand how I can sustain that kind of viewpoint, you should watch the full talk because I have that among these other claims that I'm going to try and defend in that full talk. So if this sounds like something you'd be interested in learning more about, then find yourself a comfy spot to watch the full video.